Whenever I create a beginner's guide video, there are always comments from people requesting that I make a tutorial for Spotify, which is understandable. When you first start using Spotify, it can be confusing and overwhelming with all the choices. In this video, I will show you how to use Spotify. I'll go over the basics to get you started, along with several tips and tricks. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. Before you start using Spotify, you'll be presented with two choices, Spotify Free and Spotify Premium. With either plan, you get access to a large library of music that you can play on a PC, smartphone, along with apps for several other types of devices. If you opt for the free plan, you'll have to deal with the occasional ad. If you go with the premium plan, you can get rid of the ads, plus you get additional features that include unlimited skips, better quality audio, being able to download tracks to listen to offline, along with other features. In this tutorial, I'll be using the Spotify app on a desktop. Many of these features can also be found on their apps for smartphones and other devices. If you're not following along on a desktop, the location of these features may be in a different location for you. Instead of using my personal Spotify account, I created a new account a few days ago specifically for this video. Let's start off with the various ways that you can find music to play. If you're looking for a specific song, artist, album, or playlist, you can use the search bar here at the top. When you click into the search bar, you'll see your recent searches listed below. When you type a search query, you will now see the top result here at the top, followed by songs, artists and albums, and near the bottom, you'll find playlists, podcasts and videos, and profiles. Let's go back to the top of the page. To instantly play a song, just hover your mouse over a selection anywhere on this page and select the play button. Instead of creating a playlist, you can also use the search bar to find out if another user in the community has already made a similar playlist. I'll do a search for best of ACDC. And it looks like somebody's already made that playlist. You can click into the thumbnail for that playlist to start playing or select the title of the playlist to see which songs are included in that playlist. If you're unsure of what you want to listen to, or you just want to discover new music, in the left pane near the top, select Browse. Near the top of the page are playlists that Spotify thinks that you'll enjoy. Also on this page, you'll find charts, new releases, and if you scroll down the page, you'll find genres and moods. These are playlists created by the Spotify team. Another way to find music to listen to is to select radio on the left, just below browse. If you've ever used the Pandora music service, Spotify radio gives you a similar experience. Here you'll find recently played stations, recommended stations, and below that, genre stations. The feature on this page that I use quite a bit is here at the top called create new station. When you select it, you can do a search for a song or artist. I'll do a search right now for the song Red Solo Cup. And here it is. When I select the song, it will create a playlist with other songs that are similar in style. Creating a radio station is useful for those times when you don't feel like making a playlist of your own. While playing any song in radio, you have the option to give that song a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Giving any song a thumbs up will automatically add that song to the Like From Radio playlist, which is a collection of all the songs you have given a thumbs up using the radio feature. Speaking of playlists, I'll now go into more detail about playlists in Spotify. Here's how to create a new playlist. Here in the lower left, select New Playlist. Give your playlist a name. I'll call this one Road Trip. Below that, you can choose an image, but I usually skip this feature. And to the right of that, you can give your playlist a description. I'll just put in here music for a long road trip. When you're done, select create. It's that simple. To add music to your playlist anywhere on Spotify, 
For example, here, they have recommended songs, or you could be anywhere else on the service. Find the three dot more menu associated with the song you want to add. Select it, go down to add to playlist, then click on the playlist you want to add that song to, or you could choose to create a new playlist from here as well. I'll add this song to Road Trip. And there it is. Adding songs to the playlist is quick and easy. Where it gets difficult is deciding which songs that you want to add. To add a playlist from the community, let's head up to Browse in the upper left. And I'll select one of the playlists listed here at the top. Go with Fifth Harmony. Selecting Follow, which you will find at the top of every playlist, will add it to your list of playlists, which you can see here on the left. Regarding playlists, you can subscribe to or create as many playlists as you would like. But within each playlist, the maximum amount of songs that you can have in one playlist is 10,000 songs. Now let's go over the Your Library section here in the left pane. Recently played will show you all the songs, albums, playlists, or radio that you have recently listened to. Below recently played is songs, albums, and artists. To add individual songs to these, I'll show you an example and do a search for Led Zeppelin and select it. On any song in Spotify, to the left of the song, where you see the plus sign, select it. Doing this will have that song appear under songs, its artist under artists, and the album that song appears on will show up under albums. To add an entire album from an artist to your library, let's do a search for an album. I'll go with Back in Black by ACDC and select it. Here at the top, selecting Save will add that entire album to your library. And you'll notice to the left of each of these songs that the pluses have turned into check marks. There's also a useful feature that will notify you when an artist you like releases new music on Spotify. Go to the artist page. In this example, I'll just select ACDC while we're here and select follow. In your library, if you go to artists, you can see all the music artists that you're currently following. And it will say following under the artist's name. Back to the Your Library categories. Stations will show you all the radio stations you're following. Local files will show you all the music files on your computer or device that you can play within the Spotify app. I'll show you how to set that up later on. The last two categories in Your Library are videos and podcasts. In videos, just find a video and select follow, and it will add it to that category. And podcasts, find a podcast. Select follow, and that podcast will be added. Being able to download songs is useful when you want to use less data when streaming music or for playing music while you're offline or when you have terrible cellular reception. On a PC or smartphone, at the top right of any playlist, just toggle the download switch on to download those songs to your computer or device. If you're looking for similar artists to the ones you like, when you're on the artist page, Select Fans Also Like. I have found this is a great way to discover new music and artists. In a minute, I'll go over the settings that you may want to consider changing. Before that, I'll just briefly show you the rest of the user interface. In the right pane is where you'll find your friends. Selecting Find Friends will give you the option to connect to Facebook. This is for those of you that haven't deleted your account yet. Along the bottom, starting on the left, you'll see the album cover, which you can make bigger by selecting the up arrow, the song name, and artist. Selecting the plus here will also save that song to your library. In the middle are your navigation options. Those include shuffle, play previous track, the play pause button, play next track, and repeat. If you're one of those people that like to listen to the same song over and over again, and to the right is your play queue to see which songs are coming up. Devices available shows you which devices are connected to your Spotify account. And the volume slider, which I currently have on mute. And the icon 
to switch to full screen mode. Now let's go over the settings you should know about by selecting the drop down arrow to the right of your account name, then click on settings. If you're on the iOS or Android app, to get to settings, go to your library, then tap the cog wheel in the upper right. Now let's go to music quality. On PC, toggling music quality on will give you high quality streaming. On mobile, you get four options for this setting instead of a switch. If you're concerned about your data plan, you should avoid extreme quality. Let's scroll down the page to local files. And this is where you can add music from your personal library to be played on your computer in the Spotify app. Select add a source, then find the folders where your music is stored. And when you're done, select OK. Scroll down a little bit more. Select show advanced settings. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more here. Down here in playback, toggle the switch on for crossfade songs if you prefer your songs to mix together between songs. And with it on, you can select the crossfade length. And below that, I prefer to leave the switch turned on for set the same volume for all songs. Toggled off, some songs will be quite a bit louder than others. Under startup and window behavior, you'll see open Spotify automatically after you log into the computer. Here, you have three choices, minimized, yes or no. For me, I have found that there is no reason for Spotify to start up with my computer. So I have this one set to no. The less programs that are enabled at startup, the quicker it'll boot up. Those are just a few of the settings I wanted to point out to you. Most of the others should be self-explanatory. I can't think of anything else to show you right now, so I'll close out this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. If you have any tips for using Spotify that you think would be useful to others, let us know in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button and ring the bell notification icon for more tech tutorials and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.